Good morning, guys. Welcome to another episode of the Urban Garden 2020. So I wanted to show you a couple of the seed trays that we put out. This is our sunflower seed tray. And as you can see, almost every cell has a sprout. I mean, we have just one or two that do not. And some of them, actually like that one right there, has a sprout coming up. Uh, some of them have multiples in them where I accidentally dropped two seeds. But as you can see, that whole seed tray sprouted. So we're going to have a pile of sunflowers this year. And, you know, I just put this outside and it's been cool. You know, it's been down in the... Uh, low 40s a couple of nights so it's um still sprouted on out of course we had it covered with this uh little lid here so that allowed it to get sunlight we had the vents just barely cracked uh when i had time during the day but i left them pretty much closed for the most part and over here we have our uh, beans over here and it looks like yeah about uh five or six of the pods have sprouted one over is the squash and it looks like it's doing well then we have our artichoke and it just has one right now it may be a little later bloomer oh, I think there's a second one trying to come up so it may be just a little while longer then we have our uh, black creme tomatoes and let's see two four six eight of the ten uh, cells have sprouted and that's a 80% germination rate we'll see I don't really I dug just a little to see if there was one about to break the surface but I don't really see it and then here we have our rainbow tomatoes and we're still at two four six seven eight um, eight on it as well so yeah we're germinating about 80 percent we'll leave those two cells to go so um <clears throat> i'm gonna leave these open for just a little bit let them get some sunlight and we'll uh, put some of these sunflowers in the ground for sure i'm gonna go over to the raised bed and see what we can do about putting a couple of these tomatoes maybe a couple of squash out front and uh, go check on our uh, the pink pumpkins that we uh, are trying to germinate and yeah so we're doing pretty good 80% uh, germination rate as of right now and that's just you know having these outside I had one uh, tray on a seed tray it started to sprout but it wasn't getting enough light so I moved it over closer to a window and we'll check on it later but um this is what we're looking like guys all right well thanks for tuning in uh, if you saw how we did the seed trays you can see you can be very successful and where these seed trays the seeds and everything probably cost with the soil and everything you know 20 30 bucks um uh one tomato plant that was you know a smaller plant was four bucks so you know you can get four or five plants or you can get some starter trays and some seeds and we didn't even use half the seeds out of each pack I mean maybe a quarter so we'll be able to plant these seeds four years and get you know eight to ten plants out of it so you know if you want to go uh, cost efficient and kind of be more self-sufficient you know get seeds get some starter trays and all it takes is a little sunshine a little warm weather and keeping your seed trays moist and you know that's all I did I set them outside I did bring this one in one night when it was a little cooler it was down about 38 39 degrees but the sunflowers I just left out on the bricks uh, on the retaining wall and they've all pretty much sprouted I mean there's like you can literally count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve about seventeen or so from a hundred so out of a hundred cells yeah we did uh, um, over 80 percent so you know that's a pretty good germination rate some of those are doubles so like there's a double um, let's see there's a double uh, there's a double uh, so we're well over 80 percent uh, germination rate so anyway we'll go out here 
We'll look at the beehive that we've got going. The second one, the one where we caught our swarm. And the other beehive, I opened it up a little bit. The bees were going through. So I'm probably going to do some cleanup on it this coming up weekend. Hopefully uh, the outlook for the next um, yeah, 10 days is going to be in the upper 70s for the most part. Mid to upper 70s highs. Uh, some 50s lows. So still on the borderline of whether we could have another frost or not. But um, we're getting closer and closer to that magical date where we don't have to worry about frost anymore. And we can go full-fledged outside. So anyway, I'm going to uh, start working on getting some of these in the ground. I'll probably make another video for our release Sunday. But that's what we're looking like, guys. All right, we'll keep digging it. There's going to be another short little clip of the um, uh, beehive that I took uh, was it day before yesterday? Something like that. So, um, I'll attach it to this and you guys keep digging it. Be safe. Stay tuned. And remember, like, subscribe, share the video. All right, guys, be safe. Okay, guys, just a quick update on the bees. I'm gonna walk around here, check on them. Came out the night before last and they were, um, after work and they were still coming in and out. Uh, it's been raining up until early this morning, but, oh yeah, there are bees here, they're starting to get out, oh yeah, you can see they're still in there, so the queen must be in the hive, so good, um, we'll take and uh, probably put a little more sugar in that feeder there just to give them a little boost and... They've got the pollen patty placed right at the front here for them. And I don't know how well they're going to take that, depending on you know, how much pollen's available out there. And with it being spring and everything in bloom, um, we should be good to go. But yeah, they're starting to come in and out. Uh, the sun's just broke and starting to hit the front of the hive a little bit. So they should you know, be pretty active today, being that it's clear, sunny, and everything seems to be in bloom so i just wanted to give you guys a quick update and uh that's what we're looking like hopefully we'll see these guys come out i'm about to walk over to the other hive our uh starter hive the one we started out with see what it's looking like and do 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 yeah it's about the same you know it's kind of a little cool, very wet this morning, so one or two bees coming in and out, but not a lot of activity, so that's good that both of them are looking about the same. But yeah, we're getting started. Here's our pear tree we planted last year. Um, it's in bloom, and then we've got the canning pear right there that's budded all out and in bloom, so hopefully they're getting a lot of pollen from those, so... There's our raised bed over there. We've got corn in here planted. Um, so we're just waiting for it to break the surface. And you know, it's got a lot of leaf mulch in there, a lot of other stuff, but that's uh, what we're looking like. I've got to get some of this cleared out. This ivy is overgrown, so I'm going to try to trim it at the base here so it'll die off and let a little sunlight through to our raised bed. But, yeah, when I was cutting grass the other day, I blew, blew a bunch of leaves over onto the raised bed. So, anywho, that's the morning here at the Urban Garden. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, like, subscribe, share the video, and keep on digging it. Thanks, guys.